So it's day 38 here on the far, far away ranch, and things are going really well. I've got 98,000 gold coins, and I've been a little bit busy between episodes. I've been playing for about two hours before hitting the big red record button, and I have some things I want to show you. Thing number one is that I need to give you some water right there to get you working. Thing number two is use a lightsaber and a scouter because I went ahead and got myself this whole thing over here, which is, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it lets me put lightsabers and scouters onto slimes, which is kind of cool. Like these guys over here have lightsabers and scouters. I also built another market link right here. I know it's not necessary, I know it's not essential, but it means that this guy doesn't have as far to go to start dumping off Plort to sell it, which is kind of a big deal. He's also managed to clear out almost all of the Plort around here, but he didn't do it alone because I actually have a second drone. Yeah, I, I spent a little... Like I said, I spent two hours between this episode and the last one. I went to the apiaries and I decided to get a second drone and throw it all the way down here because there's a lot of money to be made around here. So if we go ahead and just refuel it, which is super easy to do, we'll grab these dervish plorts as well. And basically we just grab everything around here and sell it at that market link over there. And it just makes a shed load of cash done here as well. I mean, we are up over a hundred thousand gold coins right now. So making a nice, I don't know, million at some point. I think that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be pretty easy to do. I'm also thinking that I might, and this is just a might. I might have the dervish slimes breed with the pink slimes that we have over in the grotto or at least i might uh oh oh no 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 no! i hear something i hear something i hear tars there are tars there are tars i'm not sure how this happened but get out of here oh no oh no come here come here come here get out of here oh no oh no 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 i i don't know how this happened don't know how this happened get out of here I think you guys are okay. It's these dervish guys over here. It's these, it's these... What's going on with that? Why are you guys so furious? Oh my god. So they're picking things up and moving it into the other corrals. We're down to three of these guys. Okay, I think, may I think maybe the mosaics need to be the ones that get bred with the... Uh... Oh no, how did you get out? So you need to go back. You need to go back in there. You guys are fine. I think everyone else is fine as well. Can I? Can I feed you guys in there? No! 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 Not that! Not that! Not that! Here, have food and stop messing about. All right. No! Don't take it out of the. Oh my God! Oh no! Oh no! They've got plort there. That's how they're doing it. That's how this is happening. What are you? Can you can you not do that? Who is it doing that? It's one of you. Stop it. Come here. I'm just gonna spray all of them with water. I think that worked. Right. Let's just scoop that up. Quick as we can. Let me get that out of there. And I'm honestly thinking I'm gonna take the mosaic floor. You guys like vegetables and meat. I I think. Give me give me. I don't know if I got vegetables around here. There's a cuberry there. Uh, let me see. I don't know if I have any vegetables anywhere. I, do I really not? I have carrots in there. I just, I want some mosaic plort so I can go, you know, have the, the pink slimes become like pink mosaic slimes. There's a little bit there. Give me that right there. All right. So what do you guys eat? What do the mosaic guys eat again? I've totally forgot here. So they are veggies. In fact, being having having the pink slimes with them means they will eat anything. So it's not that big a deal. It is a bit of a big deal that they just turned into tars down there and we lost a bunch of them. But I think 
I think having pink mosaic slimes will be fine. We do need pink slimes because we do need pink plort. So I'm not too worried about, about doing this. I think it'll just be a bit of extra income to be totally honest. So uh, I definitely don't mind it. I am thinking though that we really need to get more fruit, more vegetables, more of everything around here uh, because we are with how efficient things are getting in terms of, you know, having the drones and all that, we are going to start running out of uh, fruit and vegetables. Like, we have a decent amount growing, but I, I definitely think we're going to need more. So, we might really want to prioritize working in either the manor or uh, Ogden's retreat or wherever it may be. Because I'm definitely getting the vibe. Let me see. You guys have... Uh, you guys could use some Q-berries. There you go. We'll just get you fed up. Oh, by the way, the rock slimes were moved in here. I figured I might as well free up a corral over there. So that's exactly what I did. But I'm thinking we might need to hurry up and start using Ogden's retreat. Or whatever the, the manor is called. Uh, just because... I mean, we have that space over there, but it's only one spot... So I'd really like to look at getting... Have that. I'd really like to look at getting... Um, just more going on, basically. Uh, anyway, let's have you guys start grabbing some plort around here, please. In fact, just have a bunch of Q-berries. Just have those, and eventually we'll have, you know, more... Whatever they are, pink mosaic slimes, which is probably for the best. You guys gonna... You guys gonna eat those? Please, there you go. All right, all right. Where's that fire coming from? Is that you guys? Do I didn't know you guys did the fire thing. Okay, interesting. Do you want to eat that? Do you want to eat that? I. Any of you want to eat anything here? There you go. All right. What can I feed you? I guess I'll just give you mint mango for the time being, and I'll throw some oka oka in there, and we'll hope for the best. Uh, I'm also going to grab that pink plort because I do want to throw it over into the lab because I do think that today I want to get some... I think I want to try and get another... Uh, what do you call it? Another drone or two. I'm definitely thinking I want to get more drones. They're not super essential, but I'm thinking I could maybe automate a few more things. I'm thinking that we could maybe look at automating... Uh, moving food in the overgrowth over into the silo. That might be an option, because then the food won't run away, and it's all going to be in one location, which I think is going to be better than running around like a headless chicken, constantly trying to grab the food in the overgrowth. And maybe that's something we could do in the grotto as well, but I just think getting it all into one silo might be really good. Uh, now, let's see here. I do want an apiary. I want another apiary. In terms of utilities, we need honey, we need hunter, we need more wild honey and hexacomb, which is actually doable. I reckon, honestly, wild honey and hexacomb we can get really easily. The market link, don't really care about, and then none of this stuff really matters either. Uh, in terms of galactic fashion, I actually have no idea how that works either, to be totally honest. Apparently, I can find or research or purchase or do something to, you know, have galactic fashion become a thing. Uh, you know, get more outfits for all my slimes. There is apparently a way to do it. I don't know what it is. I'm honestly not too worried about how it's done either. It's not that big a deal. The fashion stuff's cool, but it's it's not really what I'm what I'm playing this for right now. Later on, sure. Like, don't get me wrong, if you've seen Oh, what game? Uh, Stone Hearth. If you see me play Stone Hearth, then you'll know that I do like, you know, the occasional adorable video game. If you see me play this before, you know, I like the slimes. They're adorable. Uh, what else? There there's plenty of games I've played where you just get those moments where you get a really high-pitched awe from me. And I'm not going to do it right now because I'm... To be totally honest with you, I... This last two days, and... when I don't know when these videos go out, but... Probably, like, by the time this video goes out, like, two, three weeks ago, uh, 
But for the past two days, I've just had migraines. And I think it's just, I think it's the weather. I think it's like really warm and I'm not drinking enough just water. I'm drinking a lot of like iced coffee and a lot of like tea and coffee uh, and like, I don't even drink, I don't drink like Coke or Dr. Pepper or Pepsi anymore. I just drink iced coffee and I'm just thinking like, I'm wondering if I just need to cut all that out. And I probably do. I've been thinking a lot about like dieting and stuff like that recently. And I, I'm definitely thinking that I kind of want to cut a lot of that stuff out. I want to just like drink water, you know, just stop drinking energy drinks and drink water. You know, that thing that's actually really good for you. Um, and I need to do that. I also, I've been thinking like there's a, there's a diet and uh, this, this story applies here. And I'm going to tell this story because we're going to be going to the we're going to the moss blanket. We're gonna put down some apiaries. I think I have one over there, so we're gonna collect that. Um, anyway. So, uh, Pendulette, one part of Penn and Teller, the uh, illusionist magician act that you've probably heard of, uh, a few years ago went on a diet uh, because he was having some heart problems. I'm not necessarily having heart problems, but I'm definitely putting on a little bit of weight this last year and a half, and I'm not very happy about it. And this diet is, I believe, called the mono diet, or it's something very similar. And the idea of this diet, and I think I've told this story before on the channel, I'm not sure, I've told it on live streams, so if I've told it before and you're hearing it again, I do apologize. And if you know this story, then, well, hello. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the mono diet is this idea that you spend two weeks eating something relatively boring, uh, such as potatoes. You can bake them, but you can't put butter on them. You can't put salt on them. You can eat as many potatoes as you want in a day, uh, but you just, you can't, you don't season them. You just eat potatoes. You're just eating something boring. And in, in doing this, what you kind of do is you put yourself in a situation where you're going to think, I can do that. That's easy. I love potatoes. But you probably don't love potatoes that much. You probably don't love potatoes to the extent that they are going to you're going to be okay for 2 weeks eating nothing but potatoes. So you you do this and and again, you can eat as much as you want, but it has to be potatoes. So you eat potatoes. Day one, you eat potatoes. Day two, you eat potatoes. Day three, you're like, oh my God, I'm sick of potatoes. And you can sort of see where this is going. You start training yourself to eat less because what you're eating isn't exciting because it's not providing the things that you really crave. And the things that you really crave, you know, you think you love potatoes. You don't just love potatoes. You love potatoes that are, that are drowning in butter, that are covered in salt that have baked beans with them, that have cheese on them. You love that kind of baked potato. You don't just love a baked potato. And it's it's a diet that I've known about for a long time, and I'm really tempted to do, because potatoes have a lot of, um, a lot of water in them, and that's a lot of weight to uh, pass out of your system just by going to the bathroom and having a bit of pee. So, it is a really good way to lose weight, and and I've heard Penn talk about this, and talk about losing a lot of weight in those two weeks. And I was listening to the Joe Rogan podcast recently with Kevin Smith, and he was talking about doing something similar, and he lost a lot of weight. Why am I trying to put lemons in here? Um, I don't know what I'm doing there actually, but he lost a lot of weight in these two weeks, and I'm I'm hearing this, and I'm like, dude, I could do this. Because I really like potatoes. And again, I don't like potatoes that much. I had uh, some baked potatoes a couple of days ago that were covered in butter and salt and they were delicious. And I don't mind potatoes. There's something about them I, I like, but I know I do not like them enough to enjoy eating nothing but them as much as I like for two weeks. And the idea after that is that you start in, in you integrate things like maybe uh, corn. Wow, we need to get honey plort and hunter plort here, by the way. So let's go grab that. You, you start adding things like corn into your diet and corn. And this is something that Penn said is going to be really sweet. It's going to be really juicy. It's going to be like candy. 
because you've had nothing but boring potatoes for two weeks. So I just think that's fascinating. I really do. I think that's really, really fascinating. I think it's a really interesting thing. And I've recently gotten into eating corn. I'm really not big on vegetables. I'm really not. I, I, as a kid, I, when I was really young, yeah, sure. But from age four to age, I don't know, uh, let's say, honestly, let's honestly say 23, right? So two and a half years ago, I've just really, really hated most vegetables. But corn, I've recently gotten into corn on the cob. And again, this is corn on the cob with butter and salt on it, but it's still better for me than like, you know, awful instant noodles, right? There's still some natural nutrition in that, natural sweetness, natural this and that. So I'm really, I don't know why I started to, I've actually completely forgotten how I even got into this story. But, oh yeah, I'm feeling sick recently. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking that I might, I might sort of try this, this mono diet thing where I only eat potatoes and then start adding corn into it. I don't really want to go, I've heard a lot of people say like, oh, go vegan after that kind of diet and it'll be great. I don't think I'm going to do that. What was it I needed? It was honey, honey plort, uh, which we don't have a lot of because we're selling most of it. Interesting. But yeah, I've heard a lot of people saying go vegan after that kind of diet. And I'm not going to go vegan because I love McDonald's too much, but I definitely think I could lose weight. And the idea is you can really like reduce the amount that you eat per day. You can break the habit. And this is something that I think I've got as well. I eat when I'm bored. I don't just eat when I when I need to eat. You know, and I've I've never been someone that does the the breakfast, lunch, dinner thing, but I've gotten into that recently and I think it's just not for me. This idea that you have a, a big hearty breakfast, a big hearty lunch a big hearty dinner than supper and all that. I think I could get away with like two meals per day and small meals at that. And that's kind of what this diet trains you to do. You know, you, you force yourself because you're going to get so sick of boring old potatoes. You sort of force yourself to be like, you know what? I'm not actually hungry. And when I'm bored, it's like the thing that I used to do to not be bored is now boring because I would eat when I was bored and now I just eat potatoes. So that's that's what I've been doing recently. I've been feeling sick and I've been thinking about dieting. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, that, that was supposed to be like a two, three minute story. I'm pretty sure I just rambled for 10 minutes about dieting. Uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been, I've been listening to that podcast while I was running around playing this for two hours again before hitting the big red record button. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to know actually, and I know YouTube comments are, are turned off and I'm, I hate, I feel bad when I say, you know, give me some feedback because you can't just leave a comment. <sighs> if, if you've, if you've done a diet like that or like a diet, I, I, this is a weird bit of feedback cause it's not in the series. It's not in the video. This is kind of turned into like my own little 10 minute podcast, but this will be the last thing I mention on it. Then we'll get back to talking about the game here. Uh, if you've done like a diet like that, ooh, what is this? Uh, I'd love to know. I'd love to hear about it. What is this? Ooh, I forgot to mention I got the, uh, I found an ornament earlier. I found the lovely ornament. I'll have to show you in just a second. But if you've done a diet like that, I'd love to hear about it. Either on my Discord server, which is discord.gg slash conflict nerd, uh, twitter.com slash conflict nerd, or... Uh, reddit.com slash r slash conflict nerd. I'd love, love, love to hear about it. Uh, I'm also realizing here I do not have enough space to grab everything from these uh, from these things here. I might need to set up a teleporter. I'm going to take a chance, though. Yeah, that gave me hexacomb. I can't pick all this up. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Come here, you. Get out of here. And you get out of here, too. Or at least go over there. Uh, I'm gonna drop the... The ornament will stay here, actually. So I'll throw it there. The ornament will actually stay there. So that's fine. Uh, you aren't ready to harvest. You are. So let me grab everything you got for me. And a little bit of hexacomb. 
decent amount of wild honey. Uh, I think that'll do the job. That's that seems like a pretty good, pretty good bit from those uh, from those apiaries. But uh, I think what we'll also do here today is I want to go back to is it Machi's Manor? I don't know why I forgot the name. Uh, I want to go back to Machi's Manor because I have been doing a bit of that, a bit of the the quicksilver plort farming uh, in my downtime as well. And I think one more run. I think one more run and I could probably unlock whatever the next tier of thing is over there. And I don't think the next tier is going to be... I don't think it's going to be unlocking the ranch. But it's something. And I wanted to make sure I unlocked it while recording. I didn't really want to do any of that stuff. Like, I, I did some of it between episodes, but I didn't, I didn't want to unlock anything major between episodes so that's kind of why i haven't finished that yet uh let's have a look here we need more hexacomb and more honey plort for another drone i still i think we will probably go for uh, for another one of those um i also want to go over here because i want to get this pink teleporter oh and i also think we'll get the let's get the the novice pump let's get the pink what is this remotely transfer resources between two points oh so we could set up a system here to move plort oh so i'm wondering if i could set this up so what we could do is set up a system in maybe the overgrowth where we're moving resources from like machi's manor or ogden's retreat back to the overgrowth then into a silo in the overgrowth that might not be a bad idea I'm gonna purchase that as well uh what else hydro turret Automatically target tar and blast them. Don't really think I need it. Uh, I don't really think I need the rest of it. I'm curious to see though. Warp tech. Uh, that needs deep brine. I don't know where to get that. Hexacomb, we know. Strange diamond, no idea. Uh, don't know where to get any of this. The slime fossils, sure. So we're, <laughs> we're going to be waiting a while for some of that. Uh, interestingly, I can get this. You know what? I'm going to get this. I want to get the glow rocks. I want to see what they're about. And then the novice drill, advanced drill. I can get the, the advanced drill as well. I think we might as well grab one of those and see what it's all about. And uh, so let me see something here. So glow rocks. Interesting. Okay. We'll do something with those. I guess I'll throw some glow rocks down over by my house and just use them as like a kind of decoration thing, I suppose. Uh, what about... I don't know where to put them. Uh, over here? Back there? Back there? I really don't know. Ooh, butterscotch teleporter. Okay. We are going to need to get teleporters, I think. Let's let's try the glow rocks here. It's very... Gonna be honest, it's very phallic. That's all I'm going to say. It's, it's not a very gifted... Uh, uh, moving on. <laughs> moving swiftly on let's go to machi's manor and uh ignore that particular topic of conversation have a carrot there you're still doing a fantastic job as well so this all seems to be going well uh money's rolling in you know what we'll do with some of the money we have actually oh hold on also forgot i want to grab these heartbeats and throw those into this right here just to keep them nicely fed but I do want to go and see if I can level up the 7Z Rewards Club a little bit. So, 32,500, uh, 40,000, and then 47,500 will get me the Ultra Dash Boots, which I'm really excited about. So, definitely keen for that. Uh, this is the Slime Statue Mark II, I guess, which is kind of neat. And I guess we also got, like, some new things here. What does this look like? This, like, deep, uh, sort of purple looking thing it is it is very purple i feel like we've looked at that before and i feel like i wasn't a big fan of it uh what else have we got we got like this royal thing what does it look like in the house nah i'm not a big fan anything like any anything anything nice here um i mean willow willow's kind of nice i like the willow one and then what else i guess peapod is is pretty good too i kind of like the green uh let's see event side salamander Ooh, 
I kind of dig the salamander. It matches the grind a little bit too much, though. Uh, I think what we'll do, honestly, is I think I'm just going to stick with Ruby. I honestly think Ruby is, is the best one we have here. So, yeah, we're going to stick with the Ruby one. Let's get over to Machi's Manor. You keep up the fantastic job, though you're going to sleep. No, you're not. Get back to it. Oh, no. Are you resting? You good? You good. Fantastic. All right, so... The drone's gonna get back to it. I probably need to get over to the, the water area and uh, get the drone working over there as well, but not gonna worry too much about it. We can head over that way shortly. And uh, yeah, we need 65 Quicksilver Plort to uh, do this. So I'm just gonna go to the more difficult of the two here. And uh, I'm pretty sure I can do this fairly quickly. Let's just head through. I wanna grab a couple of checkpoints. I wanna grab this boost right there want to grab this spark shot grab you guys while i'm here too and what i want is just to get some of you while i'm here but i want this i want the static clinger because it's so useful such an easy way to uh to get a lot of those things right away so we should be looking at a really good amount of uh quick silver plort more so while i'm waiting on my stamina recharging i'll hit some of them here and we're going to bounce across. We're going to grab whatever that is, which is a slow field, which is going to go there and there and there. Then I can fire into the crowds. I fired off some <laughs> some port there accidentally. Whoops. That's fine. Uh, we can fire into the sort of the crowds of them that, uh, that might gather here, which is you and you. And uh, yeah, this should be this should be doable. If I had some, like, really good other buffs here, it'd be good, too. But there we go. That gives me a good amount. And we have enough stamina to fly over and grab whatever that is. Which is more static clingers. Which is fine by me. So we'll get those guys. And that's hopefully going to give me another shed load of plort, which it absolutely has. Uh, 65. There we go. So that's enough. That's, that's all we needed for that next tier. Might as well go all in though. See how much more we can get. I need to grab that checkpoint thing as well. Uh, so see how much more of this I can get. See if I can break any records here. Not really sure what my highest is anymore, but I think it was 80 something. Uh, I don't think I've passed it yet. Although I think, honestly, uh, I might be about to. Yeah, 92. I think that's the highest I've had. Not complaining about that. Not going to be complaining about that. Can I get over 100? Oh, I might be able to. I reckon I can. Yeah, there's a hundred. Let's keep going. Let's keep going and see what I can do here. I think I'm going to be out of checkpoints, though. So this is going to be coming to an end. Uh, at some oh, wait. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Absolutely give me that. Slow fields. Yes. Oh, there's a checkpoint there. Oh, give me that. Give me that checkpoint. There we go. I think that gives me more time. I'm really not sure. I haven't really checked, but I'll take it. These slow fields, though, are so good. Give me another one. And just keep hitting them with a spark shot. See how much of this we can get. 116 is definitely the new record. And give me give me this as well. There's another checkpoint over there too. Oh, we can keep going. We still got 40 seconds. There's a thing up there as well. Oh my God. I might be able to do a good thing here. Oh, I can't get that. <laughs> Never mind that one then. All right, let's just keep going. Maybe I can break like 200. I doubt it. Be amazing, though. Be absolutely amazing. This is how you do it, though. You gotta keep going for these checkpoints. Oh, wait. There's another boost up there, too. Not a boost, but a, a thing. And I want it. Fly. Fly. There we go. Static clingers. Absolutely. There we go. That's what I want to be seeing. Oh, that's gonna be good. All right, keep hitting them. What are we looking at? 142, 142, uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. If I die, do I lose it all? 149 of them? Oh no. Can I get out of here? Oh, I think I can. Oh, yes, yes, I can. Oh my God. I don't think I was supposed to survive that, but there you go. 149 that's not bad that's more than double what we needed actually six and yeah that is more than double what we needed not bad i will take it all right let's turn it in 
Let's turn it in, and I think it's a it's a coop upgrade that we get here, isn't it? So there's that. Then have a chat. What the? You you collected how many? Well, then I suppose the deluxe coop is not available to you. I would say good luck managing all those chickens, but honestly, you seem to know how to handle yourself. You know, sometimes I feel like this whole planet is a coop, just a pen to keep people far away. Sometimes I feel like my dad didn't send me out here for a special assignment at all. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I was sent here to stay out of his way. Just a, just a chicken in a coop. Aww. S speaking of chickens, what's a, what's, what's a bird brain like you doing hanging around when there's so much work to do? Let's get back to the task at hand. Get me another batch of Quicksilver plorts, I'll give you the very special reward. Access to this manor and its plorts. My manor would be the one ranch expansion you have that isn't embarrassing, wouldn't wouldn't that be nice? How many? Oh, 700, dude. Eugh. Okay. Okay, well... I can do that. That's, that's doable. Uh, I might just do that. I think I will just do that one between episodes, though. I, th I honestly, I don't think that's one that needs to be done, like, in an episode. Because we've not done, we've unlocked, like, two tiers of things with, uh, Machi. I think I'd rather, like, start the next episode and be like, hey, look what we've got. Rather than, like, hey, let's go do this again. So, that's, that's probably what we'll do over there. I will, I will have to see, but there is still work to be done. I really need to get a, uh, I think I need to get a drone in here. I really do. I think a drone in the, I almost said the dungeon, which just reminded me of a uh, troll in the dungeon from Harry Potter. But yeah, I think, I think we might need to get a drone over in the grotto at some point. That might not be a bad idea. Also, speaking of drones, that one is working. Uh, who is calling me here? Oh, I can just call either of you. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm not going to bother with that. I was just curious to see if someone was calling me, which apparently they're not. Uh, but what we will do is we'll go and grab a bunch of this stuff around here. And what I want to do is, I guess, throw a lot of this into silos. That's probably not going to be a bad idea. Um, I do... Let's see. I'll tell you what. Yeah, let's just throw it all in the silos. Uh, what I do want to do is I, I really do want to get a, a drone in here. Because I think what I can do is I can set a drone to basically just grab all items of food in here and put them in in silos. And I think that's, that is something we need to do here. I think that is something that definitely needs to be done. I really hope I don't have to micromanage the silos themselves and like say, hey, switch to this thing so I can deposit it. If I do, that's going to be a bit of a pain, but it still means that the drones will be collecting everything regardless, so I guess we'll find out. I'd just very much like to see if we can do that, if I can get the drones collecting everything, moving it in, sorting it, all that good stuff, because it's just going to make my life a lot easier. It's going to mean that I come into this area, I come into the overgrowth, and I go straight to a silo, I grab whatever I need, and then we go feed whoever needs it. And I think that might be a pretty good way to do it. I really, I really do. So I think that's going to be my goal here. Uh, everything here still seems to be under control. These guys have been fed like crazy now to keep them under control as well. I guess these guys are really similar to the quantum slimes in that they eat like crazy and don't like being uh, underfed. Which, to be fair, I don't think anyone likes being underfed. So I get it. I, I totally understand. I'm a big fan of food myself. We spent most of this episode talking about it. So, I believe me, slimes. I totally, <laughs> I totally understand. Uh, I'll tell you what I would like to do, though. I would like to, I would like to go and see if we have enough money to get the ultimate uh, boots thing that we saw for the 7Z Rewards Club. We're actually level 18 with them right now. And level 19, I mean, 18 is already the highest I've ever been. Uh, but 19, even higher, and I'm pretty sure there's only like 25 levels. Uh, maybe 30, maybe more, but whatever. Purchase this. Ultra Tank Booster. Fantastic news. 60,000 for the next tier, though, so we're going to be waiting a while on that. Let's have a little look, though, and see. 
So... Ultra Dash Boots. Do I... Reduce the cost of sprinting even further? Oh, right, I get it. Oh, wow, look how little stamina sprinting's taking right now. That's... Oh, that's nice. I feel like I'm moving faster, too. But I can sprint, like, all around here. I feel like Forrest Gump. I like it. I like it a lot. I can just sprint everywhere. I can sprint here. I can sprint there. It doesn't really matter uh, where I'm sprinting. So that's good. Got that going for me. Definitely a step in the right direction. Every pun intended right there. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do then. We'll go ahead and feed you guys because you are getting a little bit restless. They don't need it. You know, they've already got plenty of food in there. I I just, honestly, I love these drones. I, I really do. I really love the drones. They're such a cool addition. They're such a cool thing to have. Uh, I do want to see though. So deluxe upgrade. Double the number of chickens you can keep and moves elders out. Oh my god, does that suck up the elders? It does! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Wait, how many... Hold on. So ranch coop... How many can it keep? It doesn't... Won't reproduce when in close proximity to more than a dozen... Okay. So if there's too many of them, they won't... Okay, right. I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Give me give me a roostro. Give me a roostro. Give me... Have we got any briars left? We don't. Give me the stony ones. So get, the, get rid of the chickadoo. Give me you. And what we'll do is we'll move the roostro... Like, we'll move the stony ones into the grotto so actually over here we could no i don't want to demolish that i was i was eh, it's probably a waste of money we'll move some other slimes in there at some point but this spot down here we can go ahead and we can say like you know give me a give me a chicken coop and then let me let me get the high walls let me get the the grass the vitamizer can't get the deluxe upgrade right now but that's fine throw some roostros some hands and a stony chicken there and suddenly we've got space for you know stony hands to come about so that'll be that'll be fantastic news all right so i feel like that's progress i <laughs> i feel like this has been a weird episode it's been a really weird episode not really being all that much about slime rancher but i feel like you know i i like this once in a while i i do this to city skyline sometimes i'll do a lot of work between episodes and then spend most of the time talking about it or talking about nothing at all either way uh, I don't usually do outros in these videos either, so it's a bit weird. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have been enjoying this Let's Play these past two weeks. Uh, I don't really know how long it's going to be. I didn't really think it would be all that long to begin with, but it's already longer than I had thought it would be. But I'm, I'm loving it. I love Slime Rancher, so I can't really say I'm complaining. So hopefully... Hopefully you're enjoying it as well. Hopefully you're enjoying it as much as I am. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!